and we've been talking about for the past few days that planetary alignment, mm -hmm. the five planets in a row, mm -hmm. I'd say there's a uh, less than even chance of seeing that this evening in central Ohio. But we're going to show it to you anyhow okay. where to look and what to do right now. If you're out around 745 to about 8 p.m., look due west, and that's where you could see with the aid of binoculars if you've got them. If not, maybe you squint a little bit harder than the next guy. The opportunity for it, a nice lineup should be there. Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Uranus, and then Mars all lining up with the moon in conjunction as well. So that's the case again due west right after sunset around 745 to 8 o'clock. There is a chance though, and I'll show you in a second why there might be just a little bit of optimism in there with the opportunity for that back edge of the clouds and a couple of those light showers. It's only about quarter 20 after 5. We still have two hours plus before that mess to move to the east. And when I say mess, it's just the low clouds and a couple light scattered showers. Nothing like downpours and heavy rain. I do think that there's a little bit of optimism. Again, the further west and north you go, so Urbana, Marysville, Delaware, Marion, Bell Fountain, you may be in a little bit of luck, whereas Columbus from point southeast, maybe not so much. But as we mentioned yesterday, if you don't catch it today, hopefully Mother Nature will cooperate with your plans. June the 17th is when the next alignment with those five planets comes our way. Now, hour by hour, getting through this evening, we do get the clearing in here, but right around 9 to 10 o'clock. The clouds thin out, temperatures drop pretty quickly, quickly down to the mid-30s under clear skies, right down to around the freezing mark again tomorrow morning. Not talking about a very heavy killing frost if you were a little bit ambitious and planted some of those plants earlier. Right around the freezing mark, maybe a touch of frost tomorrow morning. So the forecast for tonight, clearing skies, lighter winds, temperatures down to around 31 degrees and maybe a degree or two colder in some of the more sheltered valleys. You know who you are. Going through the day tomorrow, we'll see a pretty quick warm up, 30s back into the mid 40s. But like today, we're going to track the increase in clouds coming back in. And unlike today, we are going to see an organized line of some showers right around this time tomorrow, 4, 5, 6 p.m. That is with a cold front coming through. We do have winds out of the west ahead of that front, winds coming out of the north behind that front, northerly winds, colder air. We're going to drop temperatures back down through the 40s and 30s late in the day tomorrow. So we'll allow for that late day shower after a pretty decent start to the day. The other difference between today and tomorrow will be the increased wind, 10 to 20 miles an hour for a good part of the day. So hang on to your hats. Now let's get to the second half of the week. Wednesday night, you know, dry and cool finish. Thursday morning, a nice start to the day. I expect more sunshine, seasonal temperatures. So of the next four or five days, Thursday is the best one. The combination of light winds, mainly sunny skies and temperatures back where they should be this time of the year in the mid 50s. Once we get past that, though, early morning on Friday and then through the day, showers are marching in and that's going to be the case with showers and storms on Friday. And then we're going to crank up the wind again on Saturday. Tomorrow we're looking at 54 degrees, the chance of a late day shower 55 on Thursday after another frosty start. A very nice finish Friday up to 65, but a good chance of midday, late day and then nighttime showers and storms. They carry into Saturday. I think the first half of the day on Saturday is a little bit wet. Second half is windy. We managed to get around 60. We'll dry it out and cool it off on Sunday, 55. Nice Monday, 68 degrees. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're riding in the mid-60s, but each one of those days will carry with it the chance of a shower or a storm. So best day of the bunch is on Thursday, but even the weekend on Sunday won't be that bad. So just kind of pick and choose your outdoor plans.